All right, guys, I'm back from work and it's time to party. There has been a load of previews for Crown Thunder coming out. And with those previews, a lot of new gameplay footage to watch, enjoy, and just drool over. And a lot of new details about the mechanics and exactly what's going on in the story. We know from some of the other stuff that came out yesterday that the story is about four hours. So now we're going to have a look at a couple of videos, two small videos of new gameplay footage. And let's just see what we get out of that. Okay, so first up is this one. This is a video from Janet Garcia over at one of those gaming journalist websites I'm not sure which but anyway this is just showing us pre-recorded footage that they were sent in advance 30 minutes of footage that they got to see guys that they scripted themselves I guess they scripted a narrative that they told in the story which I'm not going to play on this video because it's honestly it's not that great and some things are actually incorrect because we know better from data mines so I'm going to tell you what we know and we're going to correct the mistakes and we're going to I'm going to tell you everything that new that they tell us so in this guys they're showing well I guess they're showing the battle tree they're talking about a new adventure right now the Dynamax Adventures are very, very big. In the Dynamax Adventures, you're going to be able to get a reward, which is the hidden ability patch, okay? The patch item that you can use to change your Pokemon's ability from the normal routes to the actual hidden ability. They're going through some of the basic details that we already know here as well, such as that one person is going to be able to swap out their Pokemon after beating one in the den and be able to use it if you want. The NPCs will give you a random reward of increased PP, HP, or something else like that. The berries too, similar things to that. It's also showing these things that you have four Pokemon to beat, three of which are just regular challenge Pokemon that you can do and use to swap out in your team. And the fourth one is your legendary that you'll be able to get at the end, including your reward. Now this does not show anything about endless Dynamax battles, curiously enough. So just keep that in mind. Here again, you're, uh, you're just, they're just talking about more stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's new footage at least. They just didn't they get to play it. That's the only thing. Okay, so we're onto the Galarian birds, which is big. This is important. There, that is just Moltres straight up eating a berry. That would look beautiful. But I guess it looks like we're going to have an interesting, uh, I suppose, cutscene when we get there or when we do some part of their story. Now they are a part of the Crown Tundra story. When we find these guys and when the story starts, they're actually going to be roaming. People guess that right. They're going to be roaming and you're going to have to try and find them and catch them individually, just separately all around the open area of Crown Tundra. This is the Galarian Star Tournament. In this, it looks like on top of the information, the backstory we got about all of these characters on their regular trainer cards and their rare trainer cards, there's going to be dialogue in these battles that will tell us more about their stories, some new stuff that will help us learn about these as characters, all of them. You're going to be meeting different pairs, different teams, they, they recruit legendaries in their teams too, their, their Pokemon are around level 70s in the Galarian Star Tournament too, keep that in mind as when, when before you go in I guess. As for the rewards, there's no mention of what rewards we'll get out of it. This is just showing us some new footage and some old footage alike mixed in together. It looks like the footage came from this character that we see on screen right now, whoever that is, we don't know. They also made a mistake about telling us in this preview that there's actually going to be two parts of the story. It seems like, well, if we know from data mine, there's actually going to be four parts, guys. Four parts, including Ultra Beasts, including um, Calyrex, including the Legendary Birds. But anyway, there's also two new Pokemon we know from yesterday's leak, and we actually saw. If you guys are interested, I'll leave it at the end of this video for you guys to check out all the leaks, the shinies of all the new Galarian Pokemon, the fusions, and all that stuff. All right, the next video is, shows us a few different things, but a lot of the same stuff, which is what gave it away, being pretty much the same, uh, the same footage that every journalism outlet just got. Just they got sent it. They were allowed to see 30 minutes of it. However, their videos, of course, are nowhere near 30 minutes, so they did not narrate on everything, did not tell us much new stuff, some new stuff definitely. Now Cal Calyrex actually fuses with two Pokemon, they don't talk about that, but we know that already from a long long time ago. Looking at the open wild space here in this footage was something that caught my attention, it actually looks really big but it actually looks really barren, it looks really empty, the grass just looks like it's just brown, it just looks like an empty, it actually looks like rather realistic feeling of what you might experience in a real, in a real area that's supposed to be depicted there. Uh, just an empty kind of cold and lonely feeling and there's not that much going on there This is the snowy part of the little forest. It kind of looks empty as well Like there's a space to walk around There's gonna be space to look for the glaring birds, but it just looks like space space with a couple of trees and patches of grass and a couple of rocks here 
it doesn't look too inspiring. I don't know. It's fine. It's not a big deal. The gameplay is going to be about four hours, the story is. Oh, Peony, by the way, is a former gym leader. I guess he's going to be rock type. They don't talk about his type, though. But he is a former gym leader of Galar. Former is important. And uh, we are obviously going to get to fight him, guys. He's a former gym leader. He's probably going to be rock type, like I said. We're probably going to get to fight him twice. I do guess we're going to have to fight him early on when we first get there it's going to be an easy fight and then later it's going to be a harder fight uh, similar to what we had with mustard and uh, our, our our i suppose our rivals in the isle of armor now in order to oh yeah in order to access the galarian star tournament before we get back to footage on that he's going to show about it he's going to tell us about it in order to get access to galarian star tournament it is unlocked after you beat the story of the main pokemon sword and shield isle of armor and crown tundra so yes you're going to have to beat all of the story before you actually get access to the Galarian Star Tournament. So it looks like it's a real cool end game thing that we're going to have uh, with these, like like I said, the Pokemon are going to be level 70. It's going to be a fair challenge. They say it's going to be the biggest challenge of this game. However, I they didn't talk about endless Dynamax raids at all. So I thought that would have been a bigger challenge because, you know, you can, you can only survive in these Dynamax raids as long as one member of your team of four is still standing. If all four you get Get KO'd, you're done. And obviously, your Pokemon do not get healed after every battle. You can pick up the berries and talk to the NPCs to get a little bit of bonuses or whatever. But if you lose half your health in the first match, you're going into the next match with half your health, excluding the berries and the NPCs. And that's just it's showing that again. You do get all vote on which path you take as well, somehow. It doesn't really talk about the details of that, however, that is going to happen. So everyone decided to take this path. It gets highlighted in a ring of a light, I guess. I don't exactly know how it gets decided. I don't know if it's majority rules and there's four paths and there's four people in your team. So what happens if one person picks? I'm like, no, 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 you can't pick all four, I guess. That's fair enough. So I guess there's always going to be a majority. That's cool. Yeah, and uh, we know all the Pokemon are coming back. We know all the legendaries do come back and we don't know about shinies for them. However, we do know that they're of 100% catch rate. You'll be able to catch them in any ball and uh, you're going to only catch them once on a save file. You're only going to be there. Once you catch it, it's gone from your game from your game file that's it so shiny hunting doesn't look promising for that and if it's possible to shiny hunt them which it should be because these are past gen pokemon i'm wondering exactly how it's going to happen now there's a lot of untold stuff my guess would be that after you catch it it's going to be appearing in raids regular dynamax raids that would be my guess because the hype of having it in the adventure is already done once you have caught it i think pokemon won't mind giving it to you in another way to shiny hunt i think it's going to appear in dens that is a guess guys that's just a guess all right so that's really it we do know the reggies are coming back we're gonna have to catch them oh that's right that's the last story the reggies <laughs> that's the fourth chapter huh? it's not in that order but i'm looking forward to guys it's out in a day in a, in a bit over a day for me so uh i'll see you guys when we do that don't forget to subscribe i will be streaming it live on this and we'll be doing all the videos telling you all how to get those exploits how to get your shinies everything whatever you want everything you want to do guys we're going to cover it right here on this channel because that's just what we're known for we're known for doing that first this is the best place to subscribe i know about half of you guys are not subscribed let's make that zero percent how about that thank you guys for coming to watch this that looks like it's it for the new preview footage that we're going to be get fed in these channels, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you want to check it all out. I've got tons of cool videos for you guys to check out right now in your run-up to Crown Tundra. Definitely had a look at those, and I got some more that aren't even shown right here. So go go feel, feel free to peruse my channel as you wish, and I'll see you guys around in the next video. Till then, bye!